The adoption and uptake of the warehouse receipt system has received a shot in the arm following the signing of a 3 billion shilling deal between the Ministry of Investment, Trade and Industry and IFC. The three-year cooperation agreement will support, and among others, the development of a regulatory framework, a central registry and a dialogue series targeting private public sector stakeholders. Government has entered into a three-year cooperation agreement with the International Finance Corporation that will, among others, support the development of the regulatory framework. Adoption and uptake of the warehouse receipt system is expected to aid in the reduction of post-harvest losses by enhancing storage, aggregation and post-harvest handling and access to markets. Uh, uh, this is a big day uh, for the farmer. It's also a, a big day for the farmer because this is like a, a return to them of the golden days of 1970s where coffee farmers in central Kenya used receipts, cooperative receipts, to educate their children in schools. Currently, post-harvest losses account for about 30% of agricultural produce. And for us, this project is important, the warehouse recipient project, because of a couple of reasons. One is increasing the productivity, as the chairperson as well mentioned uh, just a minute ago. Secondly, is also to reduce the, uh, the post-harvest losses. There's so much to gain if we can well be able to reduce those post harvest uh, losses. Uh. The deal between the Ministry of Investments, Trade and Industry as well as the International Finance Corporation is expected to increase the private sector participation and investments in the warehouse receipt system. Provide technical and advisory services to support the implementation of the Warehouse, uh, Warehouse Receipt System Act that was passed in 2020 and the regulations around it that were passed in 2021. This will provide the market with clarity on what warehouse receipts can do, the legal status of warehouse receipts, the rights and obligations of warehouse operators and banks to catalyze the growth of warehouse receipts in the country. So far, five warehouses have been accredited, while 230 are still undergoing vetting and verification to operate. Uh, we want to ensure that we are not just looking at the maize and the grains, but this is a concept that we can apply and I am very confident in this that it's a concept that we can apply in any value chain. The project is estimated to cost 3.03 billion shillings and is expected to be completed by December 2025. This comes at a time when the government is focused on attaining food security and as such stakeholders are optimistic that this $2.3 million deal is going to go a long way in helping the warehouse receipt system meet one of its objectives which is ensuring that the small farmer gets value for their produce. I'm Regina Manyara reporting for KBC Channel 1.